in this lesson i'm going to solve this question i have here on the screen this is that you should use Norton's theorem to find the current in the two ohms for system connected between e and f in the circuit below so let's look at how i'm going to solve this question so first of all what you have to do is to take out these two ohms resistor here from the circuit okay then you calculate for the what, the short circuit current then after that you calculate for the what nothing's resistance okay so let's look at how we are going to do all this first of all i'm going to take out the two ohms resistor and then calculate for the short circuit current by looking at this circuit here there are two voltage sources here okay so i'm going to apply superposition theorem to find what nothing's current so let's look at how i'm going to do this so applying superposition theorem that means we are going to consider each of the voltage sources acting alone then we calculate for the short circuit current then after that we take the algebraic sum of what the values of the short circuit current that we get and that gives us what nothing's current so let's look at that so i'm going to redraw the circuit okay so now i'm considering here the seven volt source okay so i have two ohms here i have three ohms here and then i have five ohms here i have two ohms here and then i have the short circuit path here okay and then i have these two ohms here then since you are considering just the 7 volts, we are going to short circuit the 10 volts source. Okay, so you have 7 volts here. Okay, so you are not considering the 10 volt source in this case. So looking at the direction of the voltage source, okay, where the positive terminal is, I consider I n here, okay, where which I'll name what I n one, okay, which is the nothing is current when the 7 volt source is acting alone. So I consider the direction to be in this direction since what the positive terminal is what is it's on this side. Okay, so all we have to do is to calculate for the what nothing is current when the 7 volt source is acting alone. So from this circuit here, you see that the two ohms here is what short circuited. Okay, so it means what current will not flow through. So I'm going to include it in the calculations. So because of that, we have a very simple circuit. So let's look at it. So we have the two ohms here. And then I have these three ohms here. And you see that what the two ohms and then the five ohms will not be what in series since the two ohms here has been what short circuited. So because of that, this five and two will be in what series. So adding them will give me what seven ohms. So I have the seven ohms here. Okay, so this is the seven volts. So this is the circuit now. So you see that now we have a very simple and simplified circuit. So from here you can calculate for the total resistance in this circuit, which will be our report to what three times seven divided by three plus seven. And this will be in series with what these two ohms resistors so that what plus two so you have out to be what 21 divided by 10 plus two so that will give me 21 divided by 10 plus two that gives me 41 on 10 ohms so that's the total resistance for the circuit here so from here we would like to calculate for the total current in the circuit which our name as what i so from ohms we know that what is equals to current times what resistance so we have i to be equal to v over r so that would be 7 divided by 41 on 10. so that would be equal to what 7 times 10 on 41. so this will give us i to be equal to 70 on 41 amperes so that's the value of what current in this circuit so now we want to find out the current in this 7 ohms, which will be what? IN1. Okay, so that's the current we want to find now. So to find this current, 
we are going to apply what the current division rule here. Okay, so applying the current division rule, you have what I n one to be equal to that current, which is what seventy one forty one times this three ohms resistor. So that what times three divided by the sum of these three ohms and then the seven ohms. That what divided by what ten. So this will be equal to what this zero cancel at this zero. So then we have what. 21 on what 41. So I N1 will be equal to 21 on 41 amperes. So let's write this down here. That will be equal to 21 on 41 amperes. So that's the nothing current that will be in this path, okay, when the survey volt source is acting alone. So what you are going to do here is that you are going to calculate for the nothing current when the 10 volt source is acting alone. So now when the 10 ohms Voltage source is acting alone, this will be the circuit. Okay, so due to where the positive terminal is, I consider the value of IN2 or current IN2 to be moving in this direction. Okay, and because of this short circuit power that we have here, okay, because of that short circuit power. All these four resistors would be short circuited, which means what's current will not flow through them. So then we have what a very simplified circuit. So we have something like this. So I have the 10 volts here, and I have the two ohms here, and I have IN2 here. So this would be the value for nothing's current when the 10 volt source is acting alone. So from here, you can see that you can calculate for the value of what I n two easily. So we have what ten to be equal to two I n two. So dividing both sides by two, I have what I n two to be equal to what five amperes. So that be what the nothing current when the ten volt source is acting alone. So now I know I n one and then I n two. So now let's calculate for the actual value of what nothing current. So nothing scares I n will be equal to what I n one plus I n two. Okay, and when you look at this circuit here, we see that I n one was moving downwards, and then looking at here also, I n two was moving upwards. Okay. So when you consider these two directions, you see that what they are moving in opposite directions. Okay. So you can choose one to be positive and then you can choose one to be what, negative. Any of them that you choose, you will still get the correct answer, just that the signs will be different. So in this case, I'm going to choose, I'll choose the direction of what I n1 to be the negative direction. So therefore, I n1 will be minus 21 on 41. And then I n2 will be the positive direction, that what plus 5 amperes. So therefore, I have what? Nothing's current. To be equal to minus 21 of 41 minus 21 of 41 plus 5 that gives me 184 on 41 amperes so this is what the value for what nothing's current so now that you know nothing's current you have to what calculate for nothing's resistance so let me write this here that's 184 on 41 amperes so now let's go ahead and calculate for nothing's resistance. Nothing's resistance. I'm going to short circuit all the voltage sources and then open circuit all current sources. So I'm going to name here as R sub N, which is what nothing's resistance. So what you have to do here is to copy for the effective resistance for this circuit here. So from this circuit, you see that the two ohms and then the three ohms resistors are in a parallel connection. So you can find the equivalent resistance for these two resistors. So that what 2 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3, that will be equal to 6 on 5. So you can represent these two resistors with a single resistor of what resistance 6 on 5 ohms. So let's redraw the circuit now. So I then have something like this. This is 6 on 5 ohms. And then I have these 5 ohms here. I have the 2 ohms here. And then I have the Open terminals here, so I have Rn here. Then we have what these two ohms here. 
Okay, so this is the circuit now. So now you see that what the five ohms, the six on five ohms, and then the two ohms resistors are in the series connection. So you can add these two, all these resistors to so that what six on five plus five plus what two. So let's see the value for this. So six on five plus five plus two, that will equal to what? 41 and 5 ohms. Okay, so at the end, these three resistors added together will be in a parallel connection to these two ohms resistors. So we have what 41 and 5 being in parallel connection to these two ohms. Right, so we have the total resistance, which is of nothing so resistance to be equal to 41 on 5 times 2. Okay divided by 41 on 5 plus 2. Okay, so now let's simplify this. I'll continue at this side. So we have what Rn to be equal to 41 on 5 times 2. Okay, divided by 41 on 5 plus 2. This is what we have now. So let's simplify this. So 41 on 5 times 2 will be equal to 82 on 5. Okay. This divided by 41 41 on 5 plus 2. This will be 51 on 5. Okay. So doing this, that will be 82 on 5 times 5 on 51. So these 5 will cancel out. So we therefore have Nothing's resistance to be equal to 82 on what 51. Okay, so that would the value for nothing's resistance. Okay, so now we know nothing's current in the what nothing's resistance. So we can undraw nothing's equivalent circuit. We have 51 ohms. Don't forget the ohms here. Okay. So now I'm going to draw it. Nothing's equivalent circuit. Okay. So let's look at how you're going to do that. So this circuit, we are going to consider the nothing's current. Okay. And then nothing's resistance to be in a parallel connection to it with the two ohms resistor. So I have the circuit to be something like this. Okay, I have the current source here, which is what nothing's current, and then I have one resistor here, which is what nothing's resistance, and then we have the load resistor here. So this is what the two ohms, and then we will have what 82 on 51 ohms here, and then we have 184 on 41 amperes here. So now I want to find the current. For introduce two ohms resistor which are named as I. Okay, so let's look at how you are going to do that. So you are going to apply the current division rule here. So we therefore have what I to be equal to the total current, which is what 184 on 41 times this resistance here, which is what 82 on 51, right? So that will be 82 on what 51. Okay. Divided by 82 on 51 plus what the two ohms. So let me group these ones to in brackets. Okay, then we have what a bigger bracket also. Okay, so this is what you have now. So let's simplify this. So let's deal with what you have in the bracket here first. So 82 divided by 51 plus 2. That give me 184 divided by 51. So you have what? 184 divided by 41 times 82 on 51 divided by what? 184 on what? 51. This is what you have now, right? So you are going to what? reciprocate this. So that will give me times 51 on what? 184. So this 51 will cancel out this 51. And then we have what 82 divided by 184. And that will give me what 
41 or 92 so i then have what i to be equal to what 184 divided by what 41 times what 41 or what 92 so this 41 will cancel out this 41 so i then have what i to be equal to what 184 divided by what 92 so let's see the value of this so this will give us i to be equal to what 2 amperes so therefore the current flowing through these two ohms resistor will be what two amperes.